scored 15. The Canadians desperately unlucky not to go through to the top eight in the Cup quarterfinals. They lost to Samoa, but then they beat New Zealand for the second time in 2015. And they drew 26 all with France. So they didn't go through because of the yeah, cool. points differential. Referee Nick Bryant from New Zealand about to get us underway. Points. Russia now one of the 15 core teams on the World Series. The Canadians still to qualify for Rio. And they finished ninth in the last World Series. And Canada won the Shield final last week in Dubai. So Mack gets it over on the far side to uh, Hirayama. And he's got support on the left bank. That was big uh, Admir Sir Vanovic. Now Dala having a run, looking on the inside. But then he pops it up to his captain, Moonlight. Such a strong carrier of the pill. Now it's Harry Jones. So with a momentum early on for the Canadians as Russia goes in and tries to Tech steal left. it. Moonlight to, to Mac. Dala. Net Hirayama. Great step by Hirayama. Great backing up by Dala. And great defense by the Russians in the end. But now. It's fine. Timing was good. That pass was had to go well. to hand to Hirayama because it was on out wide. And Hirayama gets the fan going anyway. And Net Hirayama will score for Canada. That's his second for the weekend. 23 test caps. His dad, Gary, played 7s and 15s for Canada, and he's on the score sheet. Yeah, great patience here from the Canadian team right from the kickoff. They were deep and in the own half. Nate Hiriyama played a load of 7s in his time. Just too strong. He spoke about them coming back from the World Cup of 15s. A lot of these players, but even so, got a lot of 7s experience within their squad, this Canadian team. Conversion from uh, out wide is not successful, so five points to nil. Canada over Russia. So many years, that combination, Phil Mack and Nate Hiriyama in the playmaking roles for Canada. Scored a number of tries, and that's just another one to the list. Yeah, Phil Mack is actually the most capped sevens player in this Canadian squad. It's his uh, 47th tournament. Hiriyama from the University of Victoria. Plenty of hang time on that one and knock back. Backwards. Went backwards. So now it's with Sean Duke. And the inside ball to Dala, who's been very busy so far. Savanovic to Hirayama, one-handed pass over to Moonlight. Up to the 22. Savanovic. Now this is Jones. And Iala gets it back to Duke. Savanovic, it's on out wide. Mack needs to straighten and he gets the fen going and puts the foot on the gas. And Phil Mack, the man from James Bay. 31 test caps. Went to the Rugby World Cup 2015 and now easing his way back into sevens. Getting up there in this try scoring stakes too. Only one away from getting his ninth here. Phil Mack. He delivered a pass for his playmaker, Nathan Hiriyama, just moments ago. But this occasion, he takes it on himself. Back-to-back -back tries. And at the moment, they're just dominating position by the Canadians. Look at him here, ball in two hands, throws off two defenders, the left hand fend, look at the power. Very low to the ground is Phil Mack. Only the second tournament for Russia as one of the 15 core teams. They qualified by winning that qualification tournament in Hong Kong earlier this year. They beat Zimbabwe after the bell to make it through to one of the core teams, but it's going to be a steep learning curve for them they just have to weather the storm and, try and get a bit of experience and make sure they they get too disheartened by some of these results but let's see what they can do now hey advantage not a joke advantage for canada and they just get phil back another one so he's got a double 
And it is now 17-0 with the kick to come from right in front. Yeah, great defensive pressure there from the Canadians. There he goes, the ninth year try in the sevens career. Phil Mack, for so long, been a part of this Canadian rugby seven setup. And that's some great reward for some great service there for little number seven. Look at them go to work here. Harry Jones doing some great work, just pops off the chest of the Russian player. A little step and just a vision seen in behind that. Ostruskov was over chasing him. Phil Mack, he doesn't need a second invitation. So yeah. the try scorer is Phil Mack. So there is the restart again from Canada. And Russia need to get their hands on the pill. So let's see what they can do with it now. Inside their own territory. And the kick ahead. No sweeper at the back. And it's one bounce and it's into touch. So kicking the ball away on that occasion. Lazarenko. Canada with the throw in. Hiriyama stepping on. Oh, it's simple. Not a hand laid upon him. And away goes Nat Hiriyama. So he has got the double as well. Just the experience showing through for the Canadians at the moment. The dominating position and therefore dominating the pace of this game. But this is just simple stuff here. Nate Hiriyama was never going to pass that ball, decided to have a dig himself, but what I liked about it, he recognised that the defence of the Russian team had over chase. So there's the extra two as well. Simple stuff, Carl, wasn't it? See him here just slice it up, ball in two well, hands. The, the body shift. Okay. Ostruskov, the number one for the Russian team, just done one-on-one, -on -one too easy. And is the, the captain, and he is their go-to man. And Well, they need another 11 of him. I know he may have made a mess of that defensive situation, but uh, he is definitely a player to watch in this Russian team. He doesn't have a lot of support around him at the moment. Double knock. Uh, went forward to him and then back. So that is half time as we have another look at this. Yeah, great competing there by Yanovich there for the Canadian. Thank you. So at half time in this bowl quarter final, that is Canada. Cruise control at the moment, leading Russia by 26 points to nil. Day two, Cape Town Sevens, 2015. Is that one of your favourites, that outfit? I know you'll walk around one of those earlier this morning there, Clarky, but the thing for me, the Russian team, they've missed half of their tackles, that's a problem, and also had to make four, or let the Canadians have the ball four more times than them, so they've had no possession, they've missed too many tackles, they just need the ball. Some great costumes here at Cape Town, all part of the yeah, Sevens the other experience. Way, no doubt the costumes are being made for Wellington last weekend of uh, January. And the week after that, we head across the Tasman to Sydney. Ticket selling Thank fast you. for both ready? events, I'm told. And it's going to be party time in Australasia, <whistles> January, February. But we've still got to get through day two here at Cape Town. 
going to be a terrific afternoon of sevens rugby. That hasn't gone to 10. Dimitri Sukin to take the tap. Just need to keep possession now. Try and get some rhythm into their game. There's Irenko giving it to Karotkov. 10 metre mark. Canadian Territory. Sukin, nowhere to go there. And Tackle release! It's one knee to the ground, so the tacklers have to release, but then Lazarenko came in and went off his feet. So now, oh, that oh, foot came off their legs, so Playing it's play on. Playing the man without the ball. And then the Russian defender giving away the penalty. Early tackle. Early tackle. Yeah, very scrappy stuff here from both Early sides, tackle. you'd have to say, for the start of this Thank game. You. The Russians, I thought just for a moment there, that actually learned about the ruck and not making it a more. And they lost the ball for sealing up, but now the Canadians can really put the nail in the coffin here with a try. Mack, look right, then went left inside to John Moonlight. Steps one, gets the fen going, and over he goes. <laughs> the captain, John Moonlight, so that's his fourth try for the weekend. The man from James Bay. 23 test caps along inside his day. Went to the Rugby World Cup 2015. He's been a real stalwart, hasn't he, for Canada? Oh, yeah, he's been... One of those players that you just can rely on and you know what you're going to get with johnny moonlight hard tough straight running exactly what the canadians need he's quite um so that is not successful the conversion so 31 points to nil Remember in Rugby Sevens, the team scoring the try kicks off. And another kickoff by Canada. It pops out the back and Phil Mack swoops on it. Just couldn't get the pass away, but now he gives it to Jones. And they just handball it over to uh, uh, Nanyak Dala. Inside ball to Jones, and there is another one for Canada. Harry Jones scores the try. He has a nice pass. I'm not sure who it was from under pressure. Might have been Sean Duke in the middle of the field to transfer to the right hand side. He knew he was going to have his ribs exposed, but he put them up there, got the ball out to the right hand side where he knew he had numbers. This would be a nice one. Phil Mack delivers the ball off the ground to Jones. He shifts it right there. Look at that. Nice little transfer to get the ball out to Nanyak Dala. Too strong up top of him. That last inside ball to Harry Jones. Kick off again from Canada. And the penalty goes the to Russia. Number 12. The Russians were actually more competitive in some of the games in Dubai last week. They lost 17-14 to Scotland, 19-10 to Samoa. Then lost their Shield semi-final 21-19 to Japan. But now they cough it up again. And Canada says thanks very much. Edmund Sivinovic scores the try. His second for the weekend. Again, a nice transfer off the deck. I think it was Harry Jones. So Benovich is the one who's going to get the plums, but it was the pass. And they just swooped on it to the Canadians. Russia actually had the ball under control. Chucked it out the back, and then the Canadians just swooped. Look at here, here's the pass off the deck. Draws in the last defender and the sweeper. And Savanovic, yeah, it was Harry Jones. Good work. Pretty much clearing the bench now. The Canadian coach, Liam Middleton, who grew up not so far from here in Zimbabwe. He's the coach of Zimbabwe Sevens team. Took over from Garrett John as coach of Canada. A years ago. Now, with a bit of room to move, right up. And the foot goes on the gas, but the Geltsov couldn't get away. And then they knock it on on the inside. So we'll have a scrum. Knock on. 
I think the real eye-opener for this Russian team has been able to back up after one tournament last week in Dubai for two hard days and then this second day in Cape Town they really have struggled with the fitness the bodies a bit sore mentally they're not there well the Canadians just got a lot more experience Crouch Bynes Sit Phil Mack flicks it out the back Pakey is on there now Jones away from one and over the 22 he goes we've got a sweeper coming across for Russia but he gets it on the outside now to Justin Douglas 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 he'll score no problem for the Canadians and they bring up their half century they've hit 50 well, hasn't Harry Jones taken over in the second half he's the one that gives that last transfer we He's the one that made the break a valiant chase. Sorry. But Harry Jones has too much gas on the outside. That's what I like about wingers. Ones that back themselves on the outside with pace. Oh. Hey? Just had to kick. We had to have the kick off anyway. So. Conversion not successful, so it stays. Canada 50, Russia nil, the bowl quarterfinal. That's their eighth try in this one, Greg, so they really have demanded. They've been outstanding in the execution of the Canadians. Hey, good job, Red, play on. It's play on. And Canada can have the last say here. Offside play. So they'll get the penalty. They take it quickly, but not nowhere near the mark. Take it from the mark. Mac. Floats one over the top. And reaching out again is Douglas, Justin Douglas. So he gets two as well. And the Canadians pretty happy with this one. 55 points to nil, a bit of a romp for them early on on day two. So they advance through to the semi finals of the bowl competition. What dominant display by the Canucks in this one. Justin Douglas only been on the field for minutes. He gets two well taken tries, simply so the Canadians get up. Conversion from out wide is not successful. So they led by 26 points to nil at halftime. They went on with the job. And full time in the bowl quarterfinal. Canada 55, Russia nil.